Father's Day is right around the corner. Have you gotten your dad anything? Manscaped has got you covered. Grab your dad a performance package 4.0. Surprise your dad with a sleek, well-designed grooming kit that features their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, complete with a ceramic blade and advanced skin-safe technology. This upgraded trimmer has a multi-function on-off switch, and it has a 4000K LED spotlight for a more precise shave. You also can't go wrong with the Weed Whacker 2.0 nose and ear hair trimmer, and it's the perfect gift for your pops. Go to manscaped.com right now. Get your dad a gift that you know he's going to use. Make sure you use the promo code CHAIL. That's going to get you 20% off plus free shipping or just click on the link below. Pierre versus Blahovich. Now, this one's very interesting to me. I got asked about this and I was very surprised I got asked about it. I mean, I mean, from the department of who cares, comes Blahovich versus Pierre. Well, I don't mean that to sound like a jerk, but you got two guys that don't have the ability to bring interest to anything. They're just not equipped with that. So you got to understand you're dealing with two narcissists, both Blahovitz and Pierre. I've never met them. You're dealing with two narcissists clinically. Now, I'm confident in telling you that because anybody that goes into a single person sport with no team to be viewed in front of the world has a little narcissism, okay? This is coming from a clinical narcissist. I'm just telling you, I, I know what I'm looking at here. But along with that narcissism comes an idea that everybody knows what it is you have done. Everybody knows the significance of this fight. I could make this a really great spoiler and I could do it really quickly. They narcissistically believe that I already have. And I don't mean me, your intellectual superior Chael son. And I'm talking just the average viewer. The average viewer has already put together that we have a guy who beat a guy three times versus a guy where they fought once and it was pretty competitive, but he got taken down and, held them, and we got a world champion here versus a former world champion up here. And it's this guy's first time coming up and this guy's known for the power on his feet, but this guy's as technical as they come. They think that the world knows that and they don't. The viewer that watches every single Saturday doesn't find what I just said to be interesting. Because it's a competition for storylines. And that's just not a huge one. It's just not. Now, the fight itself is very damaging. Whoever loses this fight is not going to be back in title contention ever. They're at that age. They will never return. They're two contenders right now. Even if people don't care about them. I mean, to the fact that they're not even a headlining fight. You get two world champions and they're... Okay, I've proven my point. People don't care. Well, how do you make them care? How do you change that? It's going to be very hard with Piera. Piera has never had anybody care. You guys know who Piera is. Yes, is that true? You're shaking your because you don't agree with me. You think, oh, chill, you're wrong. Okay, let's just play a quick game. You know Piera, yes? Okay, great. Who's he ever fought? Tell me one guy that's not named Israel Asanya. Go. Anywhere. Any promotion, anywhere. In the UFC, for God's sake, go. You got it. Strickland, good job. Play again. Go. I thought you said you're a Pierre fan. Well, if you're a fan, then tell me who he's fought that wasn't named on a sign. You see the you see the difference here? And it's just one of these situations where if you want to have that attack, you've got to bring it. Now you don't do that in the kickboxing world because they don't have that. So I gotta deal with this all the time with wrestlers. We don't have it. We don't have fans. We don't have money. We don't have interest. We're not on television because we don't have fans and we don't have money and we don't have interest. So when you have wrestlers that then come over, they don't know what to do other than to shake hands and walk away. They were trained since they were little kids that that's the game. As a matter of fact, if you did anything other than shake hands and walk away, you're going to be in a lot of trouble with your coaches and with your parents. And you know what? I am a coach and that's true. I'm doing amateur wrestling regardless of what I'm telling you right now. If we're doing amateur wrestling, you're going to shake hands regardless of the result, and you are going to walk away calmly. Perhaps you'll have the chance to try again later, but that's the way that game is played. This is how we build gentlemen out of young men. But when you get into professional athletics and you try to apply the same sportsmanship that you teach in Little League, you are now out of business. So when you have Pierre come over, who never had to do anything in kickboxing, was never aspired to do anything in kickboxing, walks over to MMA, gets a few fights, which suckingly he won, 
gets a world champion named Teixeira to vouch for him, gets the best managers in representation with George. And I mean, all of a sudden, your career's a little bit different. And what you're going to think is reality is going to be very different. I will tell you this. Israel Adesanya, who does everything that I'm suggesting for you, Pierre, does it. Israel Adesanya, okay? This why I want to make sure that you know what you're looking at, because I don't like when I read the comments and you disagree with me. These aren't debates. If I want your opinion, I'll ask you for your opinion. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm telling you the way that it is, okay? So don't think you're going to resist me, but now I'm going to prove it. Israel Adesanya was the champion of the world. Can we agree? Israel Adesanya was no longer the champion of the world. Can we agree? What happened to Israel Adesanya? Go ahead. What happened to the guy that's doing everything that I'm telling you this other guy isn't doing? What happened to him when he lost his world championship? Go ahead. He fought for it again. And if he wouldn't have gotten it that night, he'd have fought for it again. He would have returned to the main event. He would have returned to the title fight. He would have returned to the top of the bill. He would have been the one to sell out the arena. The exact same thing happened to his opponent, Pierre. The exact same thing. They're the two guys doing the same thing in the same weight class, in the same cage, in the same cameras, the same eyes. I don't know how to duplicate this anymore, but they didn't get the same result, did they? When Pierre lost, boom, he was gone. And he didn't return to the main event. He didn't return to title status. He didn't return to marquee. He's not the guy when you go to the press conference that you know is going to get asked the most questions. Well, why not? Why did the guy that he beat three times stay and maintain his position. So many fighters believe that that belt is the most important thing. Now, I love that belt too. I love that belt too. And they, then they go look at their rankings, how important their ranking is. The most important thing that you have in this industry is your placement on the card. If you were ranked number one and you were on the undercard, you have a big problem. If a guy within your same weight class who is not ranked is on the main card, he is in front of you, regardless of what you and your coaches tell yourselves. Regardless of the little magazine where you flip to the back page that nobody sees but you and your families, and you go, but look, I look at that, I'm ranked number four. He's not even on here. He's on the main card, and you're not. He's in front of you in the sport. You've had 10 fights and he's had three, but he's on the main card. He most likely is also making more money than you. So when you have two guys that do the exact same thing, Adesanya loses to Pierre. Adesanya returns to the main event until he gets it right. Pierre loses to Adesanya. Pierre is gone and he's fighting on a date that I don't, I just know this match is coming up. And by the way, I know it's not the top of the bill. I'm not looking to be a jerk about it. But this is why it's not a title fight and it's not any higher than it is. Who's going to get it there? Who? Whose fan base is going to push? You've got a former world champion against another former world champion. This is the closest thing to a super fight that you can possibly put together. You didn't get champion versus champion, which would have been pretty cool. You didn't get that, but you got a former and a former. It's, an, it's the next closest thing, which, by the way, and you got two different weight classes. You got 85 world championship being represented. You got 205 world championship being represented. It's the closest thing that you can get while not having the actual thing. It's a huge deal. Not to mention, you guys say that you want to see people stand and bang. You, well, you, you got two strikers. You got a guy known for his Polish power. And I can't help when I look at this fight, hear Anthony Smith in my head. Anthony Smith talked about the day that he found out Pierre was coming up. He said, man, that stuff he does, that style, that's not going to work up here. We can take those shots. That power is not going to convert. It's a really interesting comment. And I remember it. And now, meanwhile, you have a guy who just got knocked out in Pierre. And we know what a big deal that is. Historically and psychologically, we know what a big deal it is when a guy returns from a knockout. It's just not the same. So if that plays out and then you put him in there with a guy known for knockout power who they walk around, they call it Polish power for all the people that he's touched one time and put to sleep, it's, it, all of a sudden it gets pretty interesting. And I'm, I was hearing from people that Piera is a, is a sizable favorite in the fans' minds. I didn't go to DraftKings, but in the fans' mind, they expect that Piera is going to win. This is, what, this is what I'm hearing. And that could be true. I don't know who's going to win. I don't even know when these guys are fighting, but I'll tell you this. If it was a tournament, 
Pierre and Adesanya are already out. If it was a tournament, they've already been eliminated. Blahovich is still in. If this was a straight line bracket, Blahovich would have advanced to the quarterfinals, and those two are in the contest. I'm just so he can win. Blahovich can win. For sure. Interesting match. Is Blahovitz going to go out there and try to grapple early, or is he going to trade? He's very good on his feet. I'm interested. I think it's an exciting match. I know that you don't. I get it. I know that they're not going to get you there. I know that they don't know how to get you there, but they're not doing that because they're stupid. They're not doing it because they don't have social media. They don't do it because they don't have cameras and ability to tell a story. They do it because they're narcissists. 